catfish perch coming to you from out here at the pond. I have some guys want to know how I fix my fountain up. I'm going to show you what I've got here. The fountain I have in my pond. I took a uh, submergible pump. It's just, that's all it is. It's real simple and easy. Uh, take a, a submergible pump. And this one here is an older model. But it works the same way. I secure it to the uh, crate real good. Now this model here, you have to 90 up. The new models that they come out with, they, they, they come straight up. So I come up with a, uh, I think it's a one inch line. Just come up with a pipe. What I done was I took a pipe and, and set it in, in the center of my pond. And then I secured my crate to it. And I set it a foot below the water surface. And on the, uh, the pipe that comes up, I secured it as well, just to keep it from moving around a little bit. Uh, I just took a zip tie and went around this side and then come around to this side. And I didn't want to go too deep with, my, with a pump in the water because the lower, that, lower you go, the less head pressure you're going to have because you're going to have, to have a, a longer piece of pipe. So I wanted this as short as I could go to have a lot more head pressure on it. I think this pump here that uh, you get at Harbor Freight that I use, I think it's like 79 bucks. I think it's 38 uh, 100 gallons per minute is what it puts out. Um, I took and measured how deep I want to put it, and then I put my uh, pot just a couple of inches above the water surface, <clears throat> and, and I left it open because originally. When I built that thing, I put a cap on it and drilled some holes in it for it to squirt out. Well, it kept getting clogged up, so I, I said, well, we're going to try something else. So I took the cap off, and it works a whole lot better. You don't have to get in and out of the pond all the time. Just leave it open and let it shoot up. And it does a pretty good job for spraying wise. I like the wet the formation on it. And what I had done, I had a uh, guy gave me some uh, heavy gauge uh, electric wire it's supposed to be designed to put it on the ground and be wet what I've done to extend this out is I had cut my cord and I had tied it together with those supposed to be waterproof silicone wire nuts and I put that in there and then I also Siliconed it with 100% silicone. I sealed those up real good and I let it dry for a couple of days. And then I took a, <clears throat> a inch and a half uh, PVC pipe, uh, a foot and a half long, and I, I glued a cap on one end of it. And then I filled it up with uh, silicone the best I could. And then I folded, well, when you tie them together, this is what it, basically what it's going to look like. And I shoved this connection all the way to the bottom. And then I repacked it again with silicone. And I let it set for about a week. And after it got hard, I took some uh, duct tape and I taped it up real good where you can see the silicone. And the reason I, I done that was that was just to keep like uh, the fish from eating on the silicone. That's all I done that for. And then I took some zip ties and zip tied the duct tape so it don't come off. Make sure it don't come off. And then when you do it this way, guys, you always want to put a uh, ground fault uh, breaker in there. Plug in on your uh, plug just in case something happens. Now this here has been going on. I've had it for like three years now I guess and I've never had no problem out of it not to say it can't happen but so far it's, it's, it's worked real good that way and if even if if your pump ever does go out do the, basically the same thing <clears throat> move back just a little bit cut your card do the exact same thing again every once in a while <coughs> these pumps will go out and it's but it's real easy to fix back uh, that's what I do on that. I just want to let y'all know. 
And then also, I'll, I'll try to put some pictures up on the, in the comment section of the, uh, the pump and everything from Harbor Freight. Well, I appreciate you guys for watching. Y'all be sure to uh, like and share. And uh, don't forget about our giveaway going on. Uh, I think next Sunday we're going to be drawing for it. So y'all don't forget about that. Thank y'all and y'all have a good day.